We basically uh, survive on donations. The youngsters pay monthly dues, but half the time they don't have that. So what we tell them, you can't march because you don't have it. Uh, I came up through a program like this when I was coming along. So this is, this is definitely my passion, my baby. If you'd like to donate to Marching Thunder, head over to TexasYouthAcademy.org. And Marching Thunder will be performing at a Rockets game in April. So keep an eye out for those details. And I'm sure Calvin will let us know all about it on Rockets pregame as well. Turning now to our celebration of Black History Month, this week we take you to the Houston Museum of African American Culture. Here's Kevin Eschenfelder. Oh, AT&T oh, Sportsnet oh, and Rooms oh, to Go are proud to celebrate oh, Black oh, History oh, Month. Oh, oh. My name is John Guest Jr. I'm the CEO of the Houston Museum of African American Culture. There are two components to HMAC. Uh, uh, one of them is that we are an exhibition space of fine art. The other part of it is we are different from every other entity here because of our presence in the community. So on the one hand, we like to bring a museum of fine art and a museum where difficult conversations can be had. We've always had, this has been a robust place on difficult conversations. For kids especially, we want them to understand that a conversation is not too difficult to have. Uh, and we want to be an example that that happens. We like to introduce them to all kinds of topics. Uh, you'll see that we have right now April Frazier's Frame of Reference uh, installation, and it's all about family. And you go and you look at those pictures and look at the pictures here, and those pictures are families for, for generations. We like kids to see themselves and see what they come from. And we encourage them in classes and visits here to explore their histories. We have Matthew Jean Baptiste, his water exhibition, which is really about mental health. And so we, and we approach mental health here all of the time, and we approach it in a way that kids and adults can relate to it. For kids, it's not as daunting uh, to talk about mental health if it's a piece of art that they're looking at. But there's one piece that, if you look at this image, what you're gonna see is uh, different colors uh, on the face of this person, and that represents different parts of your personality that have to be worked out. And again, here we like to say to people, let's talk about that. So HMAC, we always like to say that we are a museum in a building and in the community. And that's really important. It differentiates us from other people. We don't just have people come here and see our message. We create empowerment in the communities that we serve. So we are in these communities. So we have message murals up all around the city. In the fifth ward, we have one on the, the historical Lewis uh, White grocery store. Uh, and that message there for fifth ward is, we love fifth ward. Uh, we want people in these communities to know that there's value in where they live and not the impulse to have to leave where they live. So we invest in those communities. 